Welcome to Kennedy Channels by Dragonfly Trading. Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm a full-time Elliott Wave trader in the crypto and forex markets. Today, I'm going to bring you a video about Kennedy Channels, but also I want to give you a little preview of what you're going to learn inside of my Discord. This is just one of the many lessons that I present to the people who have chosen the educational plan. But there is a plan for everyone, and I hope that you enjoy this video, and I hope that you learn something from it, because I really wish I had known this a long, long time ago, because it's so helpful. So let's get started. What are Kennedy Channels? They are channels around price action founded by Jeffrey Kennedy and designed to help identify Elliott Wave impulse and correction waves. They are a simple and effective way to predict an impulse wave versus a correction with confidence. Price action tends to be contained between parallel lines, making a breakout confirmation of a change in direction. We are going to go over different types of channels. A corrective price channel. It is all corrective patterns. The zigzag, flats, WXY, WXYXZ. The base channel uses wave 1 and 2 of an impulse or a C wave. And you are looking for the wave 3 breakout. An acceleration channel. It is used for the impulse and C waves to find the ending point of wave 3. Deceleration channel. It is a correction channel used for wave 4 to find the breakout of wave 5. Termination channel. It is used to find the end of an impulse or a C wave. Corrective channels. They are used for all corrections. You use the starting point of your A or W wave. You pull across to your B or X wave and then pulling down or up to the end of your A or W wave. Starting point of your A or W. Then you pull across to your B or your X, and then up or down, depending on price direction, to the end of your A or your W. Create a channel. As you can see, we have an A, a B, and a C wave. When price returned down and broke the channel, you know that this correction is over. You start at the beginning of your W. You pull across to your X wave. Then depending on the price direction, you pull the channel down to the end of your W wave, creating this channel. As you can see, we created a WXY and the Y terminated at the other side of the channel. This break of the channel is confirming that this WXY correction is over and we're changing direction. The C or the Y wave does not necessarily have to hit the other side of the channel. In crypto, there are aggressive C waves that overextend due to leverage and FOMO. Often, the C wave will break the top of the channel slightly. The clue here 
is the waves that precede it. So as you can see here, this C wave broke the top of the channel slightly. But for the most part, it was contained inside of the channel. And as we get to future slides, you will understand the difference between a C wave and an impulse wave. When this broke the channel, this was confirmation that this correction was over. As you can see here, this aggressive C wave broke the top of the channel. But the clue before it is that we had a three wave move or an A wave. If this wave was going to be an impulse wave, we would not have started with three waves. ABC flats. These are drawn a little different. You use the starting point of your wave A. You pull across to the top or bottom of your wave 4 of the C wave, pulling up or down to the end of the wave A. Using the brown channel, this is the top of your A wave. You pull across your flat correction to your fourth wave of your C wave of a flat. A flat is a three, three, five correction. As you can see here, we had a three wave move for A, a three wave move for B, and now we have a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five for the C. You are going to pull this channel to your fourth wave. Starting at the top of your A, down to the fourth wave, and then down or up, depending on price direction, to the bottom of your A wave. As you can see, the C came close to the channel. Upon break of this channel, this flat is over. This white channel is drawn the wrong way. It is drawn from the A to the B instead of the A to the 4. This is incorrect, the white one. Another example. Start of your A wave across the flat to the wave 4 and then down or up, depending on the direction of your flat, to the bottom of your A wave. You can see in this example that the C hit perfectly on the other side of the channel. The breakout of the channel is confirmation that this flat is over. This is an example of a running flat. Starting at the beginning of your A, across to your wave 4, then down to the end of your A. As you can see, this C wave did not hit the bottom of the channel. But break of the channel is confirmation that this flat correction is complete. The beginning of your A, 
straight across to your wave four, down to the bottom of your A. C wave, hit the channel perfectly. Break of this channel is complete confirmation that this flat correction is complete. As you can see, this is multiple channels combined. To make a bigger flat correction, the first channel in red is a zigzag correction. You start at the beginning of your A. You pull across to your B, down to the end of your A. The C wave does not have to hit the channel line, but it did hit midline perfectly. Break of red channel tells you that this zigzag is complete. This three wave move is your A wave of your flat. We have another zigzag to the upside. You start at the beginning of your A. You pull to your B over to the end of your A. The C wave, hit the channel midline, creating the B. Break of yellow channel tells you that this zigzag is complete. You have a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. Start of your overall A wave across to the fourth wave of your flat, pulling down to the bottom of your A. The C wave hit this white channel midline. Break of white channel tells you that this correction is over and is heading to the upside. When price action broke red, you could go long. When price action broke yellow, you can go short. When price action breaks brown, you can go long. As you can see, multiple channels within an overall flat. Base channel. It is used for impulse waves or C waves. You use the starting point of your wave one, across to your wave two, you pull up or down, depending on price direction, to the top of your wave one. You are creating a channel, which we call the base. An ABC correction will usually hit or just slightly break out of this channel, but usually it stays contained. If it's a zigzag. As you can see here, this third wave broke out of the channel. Usually your fourth will find support on the channel and then you will get a fifth to the upside. As you can see here in this chart, starting at the base of your one, pulling across to your two, then up to the end of your one, you're creating a base channel. The third wave broke out of the channel. Now the fourth wave does not have to find support on the channel. It can pull back and go up for the fifth. Acceleration channel. This is the channel that is going to be around your third wave.
you are starting at the top now of your wave one. As price action is developing, you are following it with this line. As it keeps going, the line keeps going with it. When you break the channel, it is confirmation that your fourth wave is underway. As you see in this chart, you start at your wave one, the line moves across to your wave three. The wave four does not always break completely the channel. It can stay contained or just slightly break out and your five continues. Majority of the time, your wave four will break this acceleration channel. Chin channel. The deceleration channel is a corrective channel around your fourth wave. You start at the top of your wave three. pulling across to your first upwards wave, pulling down to your first downwards wave. When the wave breaks the top, your fifth is on its way. As you can see in this example here, top of your wave three, pulled across to the next top of your correction, to the bottom of your correction. When it breaks out, your fifth is on your way. You are basically using the top of your A wave, which is your three, A, B, C. It's drawn the exact same way as your corrective channel. Top of your A, over to your B, down to the bottom of your A. Break out, your fifth is on its way. terminating channel. Your terminating channel is drawn from your wave two with a straight line all the way to your wave four. A break of this two four trend line is confirmation that your fifth wave is done. Most of the time, pulling this trend line and over, you can contain your fifth wave in a channel. Break of it, this whole five wave move is over. Let's talk about the direction of waves. Think of it as a clock, okay? And the way these numbers are here. Between 12 and 130, it is more likely an impulse or an aggressive C wave. So if you get a wave that is moving in this direction, in this alignment, this degree, you most likely have a C or an impulse. Now, occasionally, I will say this, WXYs can travel in an upwards channel because they love their zigzags. 
That is the only correction that would travel in that direction. 130 to 430 is corrective price action. You get a motive wave to the upside, and then you get a corrective move. So any move moving within 130 and 430 is usually corrections. 4.30 to 6.30, it's a downward impulse or an aggressive C wave. Downward. Kennedy channels are a very powerful tool when mastered, and they're not just for Elliott wave traders. Channels, especially Kennedy channels, can help determine when price action will change direction based on the breaks. They work on any degree of waves on any time frames. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.